Okay, check one, two. There we go. That's working. Okay, check one, two. There we go. That's working. Sorry, check guys. One, two. There we go. OBS is being an enormous pain. Let me... I don't know why it does it. Let me... Uh, I gotta get the game audio here. My, my sincere apologies, people. I have to... Every now and then... For no reason that I can discern, it will just, it, it seriously, I know people are going to think, oh, they're probably not going to care at all. Here we go. I got to double check this. I'm glad I have my monitor on. Hold on. Check this. Hold on. Yep. Game audio isn't in there. Uh, I have not touched OBS since the last time I streamed. And for some reason, and it's in a place in OBS that I would not go and mess with, and I would definitely remember if I had messed with it. Let me get YouTube back up here. There we go. Lots of fall to roll first thing in the morning. Uh, hello, Mr. Pilot. Sorry I kept you waiting so long here. But it resets my settings. Oh, uh, well, I won't go into too much detail, but like for my microphone, my microphone wasn't coming on here when it came out, and uh, it's set an OBS to use my USB mic here. I just went and looked at it and it was set on default, which means nobody could hear anything I was saying for those first couple of minutes. And it was brilliant what I was talking about. Basically, I was talking about just being tired this morning. But anyway, an auspicious beginning. I think it's all set now. I did hear game audio. If anybody's out there watching and they don't hear game audio, let me know if you care to. Uh, let me get back to business here. Enough of that. I think it's working fine now. It's okay. I used to feel really bad when something like that would go wrong. And then I'd watch some of my favorite streamers that I really like. And they would have consistent, massive, uh, I'm not exaggerating, massive difficulties with their streams sometimes. So, I didn't feel bad anymore. Anyway, I think we're off to a, a start now. I got that guy. I got all his uh, tritium. There is something going on at the settlement. I got a notification. I'm going to go check that out. Thank you, Titus. I appreciate that. Well, yeah, let's go to the settlement because uh, dealing with these guys is going to take a minute. Might have some new missions to run. Which I like. That's lots of money. More money, more units, more nanites. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't understand it, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to try and figure it out. I think it might be one of those those hinky things that you just have to live with. But it might. The only thing I can figure is OBS updates itself in the background sometimes. Because whenever there's an update, one that I manually put in there, because they say, "Hey, there's an update available," I always have to make sure I go in and redo the settings. That I kind of understand. It's a little irritating, but it's understandable. But when I come on after having not touched OBS for a long time sometime, and everything is reset, I'm like, I think it's self-aware. I think it's just trying to have fun with me. Hold on. Oh, on a Saturday at this hour, which is not that late, but I sleep in because I have to get up so early during the week usually. But I love playing when I'm this groggy. Everything seems a bit surreal. Uh, what do you guys want? What do you citizens want? The citizenry... Citiz it's going to take a while for my mouth to get ready. The citizen... Especially with the, the words they use in this game. The citizenry request a festival to celebrate an auspicious moon. Though such an event may be may prove expensive. Polling indicates 99% of the people approve of the spending. Well, I'm probably going to do it, but let me see how close we are to a collection point here. Eh, we're nine hours away, but I got to tell you, I'm not really relying on this stuff income right now, so let's make our people happy. What do you say? I think yes. Uh, once we get the peoples up to a sufficient happiness level, where are they at? 71%. That's getting good. We get up in the 90%. I'm going to start paying more attention to making money, but not right now. Wait, what are we at here? What levels are... We're still at an A-level settlement. All right, that's... 
We'll get up to S here eventually. I, I'm, I believe it has to go up to S. I would think it would. Get back to the ship and take care of our freighters, our frigates. And then I got a, a bunch of these fellows. I wanna, I wanna work on these guys today. Farmer and uh, who else? What do we got over here? Oh, where'd he go? I put them all in this area just so you keep track and I can't keep track. This is my armor. Oh, there you are. You're right in front of me. I forgot you're not one of the general, like with that Yahoo right there. You're my overseer and you're my tech guy. Oh, God, I forgot I left you asleep. Oops. I better go put his whatever, his noggin in that monolith or whatever he asked me to do. All right, let's take care of these guys. Okay, show me what you got. I'm just going to whip through these. This stuff is interesting the first four or five times you go through it, and then it kind of gets repetitive. Although I do I do give big kudos to uh, Hello Games. They spend a, a I know a lot. I, I, I really enjoy a game where it's so visceral that, you know, you get lost in it. But I kind of like this old school, everything written out kind of thing as well. Mostly because I love writing. But also, they do a nice job. They spend some time on this stuff. They don't just throw it out there. It's pretty detailed. But mostly what I like is that the nanites and this stuff that I can sell, that's what I love the most. Ooh, these guys made some money for me. That's going to be worth a lot. Superconducting fiber, but I'm going to hold on to it. Because what was the, I needed something that I didn't have that I had just sold. I'm like, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. There we go. Yep. I think I'm gonna take that thing and go to one of those boxes at a trading center that uh, you can give artifacts to. I don't really spend a lot of time doing it, but I think, not really sure. Okay, you're not ready. I think you get more or something better if you do that. How you doing this morning, Titus? If you're still out there. Good to have a little bit of company here on a chilly Saturday morning. Alright. Oh, salvage frigate module. I've been waiting for one of those. They're pretty uh, sparse in uh, bringing those things back. Yeah, but they brought it back this time, which is good. What do you boys got for me here? There are a lot more back than I thought were going to be. I thought some of these were going to take a little longer. Money, money, money. Money. All right. We're up to 22 million units I saw in the corner of my greedy little eye. Uh, you are ready. I'm not sure if there's... Okay, yeah, take you. You do your thing. I just wanted to check in. Okay. What you going to give me here? Sack Phenom. Oh, you know what I need to do? And I'm just going to have to make it a priority. And I think I need silver for it. I'm going to... I'm going to build at least two more storage units. Because it is ridiculous that I am running around trying to figure out if I'm going to sell something, where I'm going to put it, when I only have one storage unit and I can build up to ten of them. It's just pure laziness, if you ask me. Nobody really did ask me. Look at that, four million. Should I sell that? Yeah, these things come in. When the time comes when it seems like I actually need one of those, I'll know it. Right now I want the money. At this point, it doesn't really look like I need any more frigates, but I, since this is, I've been playing this game for a minute, but trying to see what's valuable here. Uh, you look like I might be able to use you at some point. Unrefined pyrite grease. I'm not sure there's any use for you, so I'll save you. Look at that. Organic catalyst. That looks like it's something valuable that can be used to build stuff. I'm going to keep it. Uh, let's go over the freighter. I think it brought me back 
some geck stuff that I can sell. This right here. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's that thing I was going to take down to the planet. Superconducting fiber. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can use it, but I'm going to hold on to it. Alright, let's take that glowing vine out of the freighter. And... Where is it? Right here. Put that in this starship. Oh man, I only have one slot available in my exosuit. I'm carrying a lot of garbage here. Yeah, oh, it puts some... My freighter's full, isn't it? No. Why'd it put that in my exosuit? Or did it? Or did it? Um... I know I fair there's really no reason to be carrying around some of this stuff. Some of it I could almost rationalize, and I do. But this stuff, no. What are you? Use an accelerant. I don't think I'm gonna need that. Unrefined pyrite grease, have no idea what I would use that for. Uranium? Mm, not an everyday item. Okay, you know what? I'm just dumping this in my starship, and this is dumb. Because I know what I need to do, which is build some more storage back here. This thing is full, I think. Yep. Which is nonsense. I mean, it's not nonsense. It's just that I need more of it. Now, what do I need? Oh. Oh, yeah. I left the farmer last time. I'm going to build that. Where is ye old storage compartments? Here we go. Wait a minute. Why are these darkened out? This is zero, right? Hmm. I'm not going to spend so much time sussing that out, but that seems odd to me. It's saying I can build another one of these. Okay, settle down. Why would it let me build two of these zeros? Alright, I'm not going to figure it out. I'm just going to try and build it. Silver, silver. Let's go get silver. Actually, I changed my mind for the fifth time. Let's see who, if anybody needs repairs. No, nobody got injured on that last one. Good. Alright. Money, money, money. Let's see if he's got anything for me. No, well, that's going to save us some time. It's not going to make us any money. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he wasn't going to have anything for us. Let's go get some silver and get these uh, storage units built so I'm not having to do so much. Oh, sorry, wrong key. But that's going to happen more than a few times this morning. This might be... Oh. You know what? This thing keeps popping up. I'm going to go take care of this because every time I come out, if I can take care of it, I hope I can. I think I can. I got... Yep. Yes, 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 yes. I know. And boy, I'm I'm rusty this morning. Come on out. Come, where's my other ships? Where's my other ships? Get out here. This is exciting when you uh, have just sort of woken up. Get a bit of shield, get a shield down, get a shield down. Boy, they... I don't remember them being quite so aggressive before. I mean, like, flying right into me. That... Oh, good lord, how many of these guys are there? I'm watching my shields. I don't want my shields to get blown up. Okay. Wow, it is... It is mayhem out here with my little helper ships. Fry them. I'm gonna fry them. All right. Did that do it? Good lord! Look at all those ships. Those were all on my side. Return to the armor. Uh, I will, but first I need to get some silver. So, Mr. Armor, I will be back. I will talk to you. We'll work this out. Well, I'm glad I did that. I was really ignoring it. I came on um, last night just to. Uh, I don't know. I call it maintenance work. Send those, um, frigates out, other things. 
And every time I left the ship, it would put that little icon up and say, you should go kill that guy. And I'm like, I'm busy. I'm busy right now. So that's done. I wanna, I'm gonna say this out loud and hopefully I'll remember it because I keep forgetting to. I'm pretty sure those shields will restore themselves with a little bit of time. Yeah, I see it going up. Good. My question's answered while I was asking it. I love when that happens. So I don't need to waste any shield materials on them. That's for a mid-battle thing and I still have not hotkeyed. I don't think I have. I have to double check, but I need to hotkey that rejuvenate the shield thing. I mean, I, I have like 12 buttons on the side of my mouse that I don't even use. Just because I have not taken the time to decide what needs to be quickly jumped to. Some of it I could live without. Unless I can find room for it, but like calling the space anomaly and I could hotkey that. Uh, zhuzhin up the pulse drive. I could hotkey that. I do have the perspectives. First and third person hotkeyed. Because I find that convenient to jump back and forth. But I have not done any of the others that I know I should do. Alright, these are little. I'm not sure if you get anything out of those. Did give me anything? Yeah, I guess it did. Last little niblets. See if any of these yield anything. They do. That was good. All right, that's enough. Let's find a, let's find a meteor chunk or rock. Money, 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 money. Okay, I needed tritium for fuels. Yeah, last night when it came out, I'm kind of glad I did that offline because it probably took me at least a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes to get all those ships out because um, all of the missions were available and they were all fairly high level. A couple of three star missions. Um, two stars. I think there's only only one star mission. So I had to send out multiple ships. It took a ton of fuel. And I was doing a lot. I had plenty of hydrocarbon, dihydrogen. Sorry. Um, I've been I've stockpiled a nice little castle of dihydrogen jelly, which helped. Oh, my new. I'm, yeah, quite clearly, uh, which I'm not complaining about. It's just interesting that um, trigger to bring in frigates and a whole fleet is centered on your location because that happens all the time which I don't mind it's nice I could probably go over there and look at some frigates but I'm busy but I'll be looking at one of these rocks and it just disappears and at first I'm like oh this is a glitchy game and then all of a sudden uh, we just hopped in on top of my head I'm like oh it's kind of nice you could easily rationalize uh, that actually being a technology it's kind of like, I really like the little extra touch in Terminator where he comes back in that big sort of electric looking orb. I'm like, yeah, that would make sense. If you were going to time travel and jump someplace, you'd kind of want to clear uh, the area around you a little bit. I wonder. It seems a little bit fantastical, but I wonder if they will ever come up with... Oh, shut up. Where? I don't... I, all right, fine. I'll fight you and get some more good stuff. Really, I'm busy right now. Bring them on. Okay. Uh, okay, where are they? Are they in range yet? I'm going to do a little... There we go. I'm going to do a little mining before I kill this guy. You're, you're not going to spoil my good morning mining. These guys have definitely gotten tougher. I, oh, yeah, it could be. Maybe I, I, I'm going to have to check my powers on, uh, see if it's changed on, uh, it's not the photon cannon. It is this weapon. And there we go. That one used to be a one shot kill. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 
Ah, okay. Let's tear this guy down. Shields are still good. It's just an annoyance at this point. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Kill him so I can go make some storage. It's very important. Come on. Target him. Get on there. Okay. Not gonna do it. That was good. Uh, wow, how many did you send out here after me? This is uh, a little bit of quite literally overkill. Um, I haven't really looked into it. But it feels like this game might be scaling up a little bit. I don't know what they call that. I can't remember. But as you move along and get better or stronger or better stats, whatever it is, the game compensates by really trying to kill you hard. Kind of feels like that sometimes. Great. Thank you. Now please leave me to my silver ring. I'm going to get this one rock and then we're going to head back. I don't know how many we can build. Even if it's only one, that's what it'll have to be because i got other things to do. Um... I tell you, I don't know if they changed it with an update. I know there was a big uproar about, <coughs> excuse me, the whole inventory reduction, which seemed to have been mollified by some things that uh, Hello Games did shortly after the update. The supercharging slots, things like that, which they might have planned to do all along and just weathered the fallout. I don't know. I haven't played this game long enough to feel the effect of it, but I... I do know the first time I opened one of those storage things. But oh my god, this is going to help a lot. There's all kinds of space in here. But then I realized you can see a lot of space, but a lot of it's not actually available. Oh. And I wondered to myself, self, I thought, is there a way to make this storage bigger in here? I have not played with any mods yet, and I know there's mods available, but... Mods is a whole different arena. I uh, really got into mods playing Skyrim. And everything changes when you start from that. I mean, they're cool. They're fun. But it just becomes a big focus of your time getting those mods to work. Mod loading order, all kinds of stuff. And they're fun once you get them all ready and good to go. But I found myself, and I enjoyed it. I found myself spending more time tinkering with the mods than I did actually playing the game at a certain point. It evened out after a while, but I like to, uh, if there's mods available for a game, I like to wait until I've thoroughly enjoyed the regular game before I start playing around with mods. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I gotta check this. Okay, now wait a minute. Hmm. I know it's in the stream there. These were grayed out before. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. I don't quite understand. I don't understand why it's offering me... Hello. Wait, am I in the right area even? Yeah, that's my storage container. Hold on. Let me take a look in here and see what we got. I'll put you in the freighter. There we go. Um, This doesn't... Yeah, that was definitely grayed out, and I don't know why, and I'm not going to worry. And it's curious to me i know these things and i think it's a really cool thing that if you play the game you know these all sync up with each other so whatever if you put a zero storage someplace like here this is zero and i got a zero at my base and i put a zero by the settlement all of those will have the same items in them which i think is pretty cool but why would it offer me that uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna haggle with this anymore i'll just look it up or something what I know is I do not have a number one on here. Hmm. I just realized if I put a one over here, it's... Well, that's all right. Eventually, I would like to have nine, so we're going to do this. There we go. And let's see if I have enough to build another one. Might as well, right? You know it? Yeah, there we go. Let's see how many we can actually build. They grade those out again. No. No. I like to double check in different areas because sometimes it won't build it because there's some sort of interference blocking it. Like, 
an item. I don't know. <laughs> I do apologize. It is a brisk, cold morning here. And not only am I getting my voice just warmed up from the topic, I left the window cracked a little bit last night, which I like. I like a little chilly in the room when I sleep, but it got really cold last night. So, uh, some of this stuff, I always rationalize to myself that I might be out there someplace and need this. And then I never do, and if I do, I'll just come back to the ship. I mean, you can find a uh, teleporter about anywhere. Now, the oxygen, I will keep. Tritium, that's fuel haul. I can put this down here. You, not being very organized. I think I might go do some grinding today. Um, ferrite dust always seems to be necessary. What are you, uh, nav data? You can go over here, because that's what I'm going to use to buy some maps. Uh, that, I have no idea why I'm carrying it around. Makes no sense. That is important, projectile ammunition. You can go up here with the ferrite. Oh, yeah, let's go... I need to put that. Hold on. That, that. Oh no! What just happened? Oh no! Did it? In a, I didn't just delete that, did I? No, it's over here. Good lord! I got scared. These things are really hard to come by. <laughs> oh, that scared me. That scared me. Uh, chromium. You tend to come in handy. Sodium. Yeah. Uh, what are you? Salvage data. Hmm. I'll carry you around. Maybe I'll get to the anomaly and sell you off and use you. Oh, you know what we're going to do? I can. I think that's going to do it for now. That's a lot of salvage data. I should go and use that up. I'll carry it with us. Um. What was I just thinking about? Oh, the, the uh, frigate module. See if I can go ahead and find some value in that. We got one of them. Um, I was thinking about getting more into these to add to the missions, but look at that. That's a sort of a mid-tier game thing. I, I'm not really interested. I just you can get, I think, quite a bit more. It juices up the stats on your frigates, but you do have to uh, make them for every mission. And right now. Preparing for those missions is taking enough time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think one thing I want to do is start building some living spaces. Uh, so that eventually... Technology room? No. Scanner room? Those are interesting, but not really. Biological room. I wonder how that's different from... Uh, It's interesting. These are all cultivation rooms, but they seem to have different purposes. I will get into those eventually, but... I think for the time being, I'm going to leave them be. Where is my living quarters thing? Appearance teleport chamber. I already got that opened up. Okay. Stellar extractor. That's what I... Is that what I have? No, because I haven't built it yet, but I'm, it's my refinery room. Galactic trade terminal. I think that right there, the, uh, let me go check. What, are, what is this room that's giving me chromatic metal? Because I do like that, but I am so lousy. Stellar extractor. Yeah, that's what it is. So it gives you one, but if you want more than that, you got to go and earn it. Uh, I do, you know what, I don't really care about this. But eventually I gotta get all this stuff. I would like to pay more attention to this so we can fly around and do more stuff. But we're gonna need these eventually. Maybe it'll get it out of my inventory, which I like. Pardon moi. Um, yeah, I got a visitor. I knew those settlers would be up to something. Let's go take care of that. And then I'll come back. I gotta wake up my sleeping scientist over there. I left him in a lurch for quite some time now. He's just napping away over there with no brain core. Thank you for the likes this morning, guys. Appreciate it. I'll tell you one thing. <clears throat> my brain is functioning 
at about 80% and rising, maybe, as I wake up. But what I'm realizing is my, my voice does not want to talk as much as my brain wants to speak, so... <clears throat> what do you got for me, buddy? A visitor, colonist Upa, has blockaded themselves in the overseer's office. Kind of dramatic, don't you think? They will not leave until they are allowed to stay. They claim to be a biologist. The security drones have verified their story. Okay, well, if it's verified, what do I get? Removes professional brewery technician. That's going to be hard to take. Adds feature special biologist plus one population growth. All right. I, I really don't have enough information to make an informed decision. I'm sure if I went out and looked online, it would tell me the pros and cons. But for now, I'll just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebrate on your own time, buddy. I got things to do. See how that affected things. <clears throat> 60 citizens. All right, uh, I do... Let me figure out what I want to do. I think I want to pick up the... Um, farmer's Quest, because uh, I left him over there. Yeah, we'll start at the bottom here. Although that's got a really pretty icon. Uh, let's go take care of this guy. And for him... I have to get this thing. It's a, I remember reading it's on a really barren planet. This... Uh, Oh, a chino, a chino cactus? Is that what it is? Yeah. <clears throat> so, all right, give me one second, guys. I'm going to sit scooter down. I'm going to make a little coffee. I'm going to try and clear my throat without doing it on mic. Hopefully, it won't take too much. Sorry about that. But I shall be right back. <clears throat> Good morning, good morning, it's time to say good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I'm a coming, give me a second. Welcome to my place, I hope you enjoy it here, even though you can just hear it. back for a second i'm waiting for my coffee to brew to just take a second to uh pour that in a cup put it in my face let's it says that that grows on a barren planet you know there's there's a an object i will call it i don't, I don't know if i call it a planet call it, what is it a terraform catastrophe uh, uh let's just fly up there and, and check things out it should tell us if it's got that plant when we go by the planet so let's go and check that out Flying a little bit. I was gonna say blind, but I'm flying deaf here because I don't have my uh, my headsets on, which is a very unique feeling. But this is playing scum, which I will probably be doing Monday night. Oh, by the way, big announcement for everybody who cares, and I don't know if anybody here actually cares, but some of the old gang would care. Lettuce. There is a very strong likelihood lettuce will be out on Monday night. I think I mentioned it uh, on something I was doing before. Now, what are you? Hot planet. Nope. No, I think this is the terraforming catastrophe. Let me see. Are you? Let me race over there. See what this thing is. And I just flew down a little bit and looked at the surface. I did not actually land on it. Uh, no. Icy planet. No. Let me get inside here so I can get my uh, my thing working for me. That's the icy planet. I see three orbs here. One of these is probably a moon. It's right there behind that ring. There we go. Let's get over there. 
Unknown. Wait. No, you know what's weird is, I have discovered this planet. I've been over here. I mean, I, I don't think there are like 20 of these things in my little solar system here. Oh, I'm about to lose power. Yeah, couldn't get to it quick enough. <clears throat> but it does not say anything about that cactus, but it does say there are things down there. I did not land. I want to go land and see what, what's up with this thing. I have not heard. This is the first time for me playing this game. I've run across something called terraforming catastrophe. And while I, we fly there, let me get my coffee. Good morning, good morning to you. Wow. I, uh, I really thought that uh, <clears throat> we'd be there by now. We were a little bit farther away than I thought. What, uh, what do you have to do to get rid of that unmapped? To go find a nav data tower and get at least one of them? Or, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. This is what I thought about while I was pouring my coffee. I'm like, um, what if you get attacked while you're pouring your tasty, juicy coffee? I don't care. Will they? Uh, is there, you know what, there's no atmosphere on this planet, I don't think. Okay, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Where are you? Come here, come here. Don't run from me, and where are my guys? Where are my boys? Oh, I'm getting eaten up from behind. Like, so far the shields are all right, but this is irritating. Come on, gents. Let's go, let's go. Oh, that was nice. I, I appreciate you doing that little stop maneuver so that I could kill you. Where are you, where are you, where are you, where are you? We got one down. That sh my shields are at a quarter. I haven't even checked to see, make sure I got enough fuel for those shields. Hopefully we'll get this guy quickly enough. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Shields are down. That's a bad sign for him. There we go. This guy, you're all by your lonesome. You got none of your pals. Good, the shields are restoring. We're going to be fine, people. Everybody just relax. Please return to your seats. Turn your trays to the upright position and just enjoy the flight. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. You zigzagged on me. Wait, wait. Is there another one? No, no. You're just... I love the way... <clears throat> Even after the game decides that ship's got no chance. And just uh, look at this. Look at the. There are a lot of uh, asteroids. I'm going to fly over here where it looks a little bit flatter. I think it's flatter. Or maybe it just hasn't rendered in yet. This is kind of cool. Let me land here and see if there's anything on this rock. They did um, the little. The little uh, descriptors. When you're looking at the planet, it listed some uh, metals and stuff. So there's something to be had here, but I don't think there's any cactus. Uh, what is that? So, you know, cactus? Is that what they called it? I don't know how to pronounce it. But we're going to look. I don't see any plants at all. I'm going to get out and do a quick scan, and if nothing shows up... Well, there's some... Oh, well, maybe there is something on here. It's got the old regular uh, elements on here. I do not... Here, you know what I just realized I can do that I keep forgetting to do? Hey, Zero, how you doing? Okay, let me... Um... I can't remember, Zero. Are you a uh, guardian? Everybody uses so many different names. Different accounts. Um, let me find this and peg it so that uh, I can perhaps collect it. Mm, here, maybe, yeah, plants. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologize. It's going to take my voice a little longer than usual to uh, get back into. Okay, now, I'm not going to start complaining too early. 
but that Encino cactus clearly, well, let me see if it, it comes from a plant that is listed here. No. But really, if... There we go. Cactus flesh. This is it right there. Okay. That's why I, I kind of avoided complaining. I complained just a little. Just a little bit. Alright. Let's see if this will... No. I did put that on Encino Cactus, right? Maybe it's just that there isn't anything here. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you was being surreptitious and clandestine. Alright, let me see what I want to do here. Don't vex me, game. Just don't vex me this morning. I'll not have any vexing. So... Locate substance. Alright, in the galaxy map. Okay, so let's see. I think it'll show me up here. I mean, I don't think there's any atmosphere to get out of here. Alright. Well, I will try to follow your directions, game. Let's see what happens. It said the galaxy map. I don't see anything here that would tell me whether or not something had... Right. That moves way too fast. Um, okay. R? Yeah, I guess that'll do it. I am barely touching those keys to make a move, and it just flies. Alright. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure I'm just not reading this correctly, but... I don't see anything that would indicate to me these planets have that on it. So, I mean, they give you some pretty good information. It's probably there. I just don't know where to find it. <clears throat> I'm just going to go to these planets and look and see. Usually when you're looking for a plant like that, it will tell you. Nope, nothing here. Let's go over here and see if we can find this bad boy. Mm, no, that doesn't look right. I might have to go. Uh, we're just going to, you know what I'm going to do? Where is the space station? I'm going to go and see if I can teleport to a galaxy that has it. Which is probably the smart thing to do right from the get go. But I ain't that smart, really. There seriously are a few pleasures I enjoy more than coffee first thing in the morning. Ugh. I love it. Yeah, they do list plant life when you see... I see at the top there is selenium. <clears throat> so, if I do find a planet that has that, whatever it is, Encino cactus, or any kind of cactus, it should list it there, I would think. I upgraded my boy's pulse engineer. I had another upgrade, and I swear to God, it feels like it made it slower. I know I was a ways away, but still. Get me there. Oh, uh, I was going to try and get the space station. I think I was off by a little bit. We're not too far. Wait, how far? Oh, come on. I can go to the anomaly, but it's a long, it's a bit of a trek to get up to that teleporter. If I get to the space station, ah, 32 seconds. That's all right. It's a Saturday morning. It's a good, it's a, it's a good day to go flying through the asteroid fields. Just... Enjoying the pretty views. <clears throat> Good lord, I've been out for 46 minutes already. Time just flies when you're waking up, I guess.
All right, let's see if uh, I can suss out looking at the teleporter which galaxy might have some of what we are in fact craving so, so badly. <clears throat> and I'm just now thinking to myself, I might have to build another cultivation chamber. I'm not sure if I had any uh, more open spaces over there. Fly, Scooter, fly. That's my guy. Do a little check over here. Try and see if they got any hydro jelly carbon nonsense. No? No. Alright. It's worth a look. <clears throat> mm, nope. I just... Let me... Might say here. No. Two planets. I don't want to. Let's go someplace that's got more planets. Oh, wait. Right there. Okay. I'm not. I, okay. It's my fault. I completely take responsibility. But they do. I keep forgetting they put some of this important information that's a little bit grayed out below the actual information. I got to note to self don't ignore the gray stuff. Use your gray matter to see the gray stuff. Want a new drug? One that won't make me sick. Boy, I think I'm gonna muscle through, but I did forget. I'm not a big breakfast guy. I, I like breakfast, but I never think of it. And uh, until I get... It's usually on the days when I have nothing to do. When I have stuff to do, I can go till noon and realize I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I know a lot of people, they're like, that's crazy. I have to eat. I got friends, man. That's the first thing they think of when they wake up. What am I doing here? I'm going off to the planet. But on the weekends, when I got nothing to do, I get up and just out of habit, I don't think about it. And then uh, I'm like, oh my God, I'm starving. That is all to say that I'm going to muscle through a couple of hours here. I got a little something to nibble on. All right. All right. We do have work to do, but I see some frigates over here. So let's go buy all we can. I'm not even going to pay attention to what they are right now. We're going to be... Hopefully, Scooter will survive for many, many missions to come. Nothing? You're not going to give me anything for sale? Am I not close enough? Or you, oh, There we go. I was going to say, don't be stingy with your ships. That looks like a combat one. I hope it is. I could use more combat ships. Yes. They're also more expensive. <clears throat> uh, just for nothing more than the sheer uh, knowledge of it, I want to keep buying these until the game won't let me buy anymore. I, th I think I saw a number of how many you can have in your fleet. And also, because I'm a nerd, a bit of a geek. Um, wait. This says recruitable frigate, but that's a freighter. It, oh, it's back here. Okay. He was hiding over here. It does, I think, look pretty neat to have uh, all these ships in your fleet just hanging around. All right, what do you got for me? You look like it. I'm going to guess. Is this Explorer? Uh, no. I, well, I'll know when I see it, but that's a, oh, it's a trader. Yeah, okay. I'll take you. I can use more money. It'll be, I, I have not, I should probably investigate this so I don't bone myself, but I'm hoping there isn't some mechanic in place. I got to get a little distance because I can't. I think there was one more ship for sale and we should have enough to buy it. And then we'll be on our way to find, I just think I saw CAC, oh no, I saw it on the screen down below. It's like, I think I saw that planet say cactus, but I think I was reading uh, the card there. Uh, I thought for sure there were three, but I don't see any more dollar signs on my HUD, so enough. Here we go, cactus. Oh, cactus flesh. Yeah, that should do it. Let's see, let's check it out. Let's venture forth, shall we? 
Oh, there it was. There it was. Maybe that was a new raider that just popped in. I think it was. Here we go. I like the look of you. Oh, that. I have real uh, raider envy. Every time I see a new raider, I'm like, oh, that one looks nice. I have to say this in the in my first game that I played in there, I still have the save out there. I haven't been back to it in a while. I didn't know anything about it. I thought all freighters were created equal. Let me check this guy out real quick. Combat. I'm happy with uh, with our purchases here so far. Uh, I've got lots of the specialist ships, but I now I think I have four, maybe five. Okay, that is the insignia for the freighter. I don't need the freighter. But uh, my first freighter had what I would consider a design flaw. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I don't care. Please, come on, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a bounty. I will take a bounty. Because I do like that free money. Righteous thief. Oh, good lord, good lord, good lord. Where'd you go? You just jumped out on me there. When I get my other ships here, buddy, you're gonna regret this. Oh, good lord. Maybe I'll regret it. I don't know. It's it's up in the air right now. Somebody's gonna regret something here in a second. Wait, was that my ship that accidentally... I can't tell if that was my ship that it inadvertently shot. No. That had to be my ship. There was only one. 123,000 in just a matter of seconds. I'll take it. Um, But it looked like I was getting roasted. Let me put this back on that. I was getting roasted from uh, fire from behind. I think my... Uh, I don't know. Is friendly fire... I got all the settings too tweaked all the way up, so... Mayhaps... Friendly fire is a thing, but my little ship with his AI shouldn't do that, but it makes it more exciting. All right, let's get down here. <clears throat> we'll land next to this thing just to have something to nosh on. This looks like a uh, exosuit expander, which I will take every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Just once on Saturday, apparently. Maybe. We got more time out here. I might... Uh, I might find some more. Um, I'll tell you. I'm not sure. It could just be the stream. <laughs> Although, I don't know. I don't like to think this way. But uh, this whole phenomenon. Have I... Uh, I want to kind of log you. There we go. I think we're going to find our stuff pretty quickly. Upgrade, upgrade, yes. Oh, uh, you know, seems to me I used to have to fix these things. They just gave that to me. Huh. I'm going to repair this. I'm going to go ahead and do that just to see what happens and see if we can get another slot. I mean, while I'm here, right? Am I right? Or am I right? Or am I right? Carbon. Let's go get some carbon. What do I have you on? Nope. Mining bean. Whoops. Get back there. Mining bean. You're carbon, right? And normally... No, that's fair, right? What am I thinking? Oh, uh, here we go. I'm going to analyze you. You are a cactusy looking plant. With, I am guessing... Wait. You're not my friend. That's carbon. <clears throat> Okay, I wish... Can you just go away, sir? I have things I have to do here. And you are not helping. Where is my little droid? Did I turn him off? No, there he is. I do appreciate. I was wondering for a while, but I had a battle going on in the settlement. And I kept a close eye on my little droid bot thing there. And he... Beautifully... Protected me. He was shooting the living daylights. Well, actually, I think what he was doing was I was watching him. I think he was using a paralyzed thing. That's what it seemed like, anyway. 
Uh, why are you unidentified? I thought I just tracked you. You a different cactus? There's lots of cactuses here. Alright, let me get some nanites going. That should be enough carbon. If not, we'll come get more. There's lots of cactuses out here. Lots of cactuses in the sea, as my mom used to say. Good. All right. How many? Is that going to be enough, or are you going to want several of these? What happened here? Oh. Ooh, I did the wrong thing. I saw that. that is that a nanite? It looks like a nanite. Maybe I misread that. It wants uh, sodium nitrate. I feel so foolish. Sodium. There we go. Oh, you're sodium plus stuff. I don't know if that's going to work. Right, is that sodium nitrate? Already made. What are you? Uh, I should really take the time to identify all these things, but I ain't going to do it. I ain't not going to do it. Oh, good. That's ready-made sodium nitrate. And I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gave me, I think it gave me plenty. Go for it. Come on, I taught you this little technique, Scooter. You know how to do it. Where is this thing? There it is. I do tend to get a little sidetracked in this game. Anti-matter housing, what do I need for that? Wait, hold on a second. What is it? What are you? Where did I get sticky honey? <laughs> I don't remember picking that up. Uh, anti-matter housing. There we are. Uh, ferrite dust. I got lots of rust, so let's just make some of it. I could, I could mine it, but... What's the point in um, picking up all that ferrite dust if I'm not going to use it? Or rust, I should say, not ferrite dust. Uh, there, you're going to take a second. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get over here so my shields don't dissipate. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Relax, chill Saturday. Everything's good in your world. That would be lovely. Scooter and I are doing fine. <clears throat> um, I gotta tell you, I'm not that I'm super awesome at this game, but I've gotten better. Uh, I thought the permadeath and all the higher settings was going to be far more difficult. I've I've not really, maybe twice since I've been playing, have I felt Scooter's life in peril. And this is a pretty chill, laid-back sort of game to begin with, so that's fine. But I kind of hope at some point they add a setting that is just ridiculous. Like the first time you play it, you last like two minutes. And you got to really figure out how to survive. I need the answer to housing. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And it is nice being able to relax and chill and run around. It just, it doesn't feel like hardcore survival. I love the game. I really do. But, for me, to me, where's my ship? The, around the side here? There we go. Hold on, did I get, did I get? I did, I want to make sure. This little suit is <clears throat> building out nicely. Uh, but, I need to do what I came here for. Let me see if... Oh, I saw a little red exclamation mark there I didn't care for. Let me uh, look at this again. I am looking for this fellow. I don't think I picked any of it up. I shot some cactuses. Did that give me what I was looking for? I don't think so. Not starship. No, I don't see... Maybe that honey came from one of the plants I shot. I don't know. But I don't see any of the cactus stuff. So let's get back out here and try this again. It marked, it marked some for me. And I just got sidetracked. Rightfully so, I would say. 
and look at you cool animals and expanding the inventory in me old exosuit oops sorry 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 what oh good lord i don't want that I'm not paying attention uh at some point i'm gonna have to step aside and just okay now that i know what you look like that's not you here we oh come on now that one i'm gonna give it to it gonna kill you because he was close enough oh what are those maybe that that's where my honey came from i think that's pretty cool all right let's harvest some of this let's harvest all of this there we go while we're here we may as well bleed it dry those bee things look pretty cool Sorry, right, sorry, taking all your stuff. I'm just picking it. I'm not destroying it, so it'll be back. Pretty cool looking. I do. Oh, I've already identified you. When was I here? Must have been some point. Yeah. A couple more here, and then we're off. Go back to the uh, farmer man, farmer brown. And that's it, right? Yep. I better be enough. <clears throat> wow, you are one. I've seen beetles like you in my apartment. Not quite as big. Oh, good lord. Everything on this planet wants to bite you or gas you. <clears throat> Gotten a little bit spoiled by my uh, placid little home world. I see some uh, green gas over there. We're going to try and avoid that. Uh... Well, I want to... Boom. Oh. Look at you. I just uh, said hello to your friend. And hello to you, too. Nice to meet you. All right. I have not really spent... I think in the beginning I spent much more time learning words. And it's starting to show. I can't understand anything any of these aliens are saying. So that'll grow over time. Let's head back. I hope I have enough. Here, let me let me check and see if it'll tell me. Yeah, return. Yeah, I have to grow that stuff. So let's go back. We're gonna have to check. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, get back down there. What is this over here? Nope, I'm not gonna do it. It's exciting and interesting. Uh, I I'm gonna set aside a day sometime to just lollygag because that's fun saturdays are a good day for that i guess but i i have a feeling if i don't stay on task and have some sense of purpose i'll be irritated with myself i think that day will come when we are much when i well we you're here too are much farther along in the quest lines i have barely made a dent in uh, the game content and i'm enjoying the game content exploring it so without being too fanatical about it i do want to as i said stay on task i think it's one of the wonderful things about this game you can come in here and just oh i did not do that right sorry scooter i thought i'd learned before you can't juice it like that it'll run out really quick you just gotta hold the throttle out but i did not do it Let's get back to the freighter. But it is fun how many different directions you can go. And just get lost and still have fun. I mean, it really does. It really does. F I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Verisimilitude? Simulation? It really... It's ex exploration. It gives a great sense of genuine exploration, I think. Because no matter what you set out to do, you're flying around, you're running around, and you look one way or the other, and you go, wait a minute, what is that? That looks pretty cool. And then two hours later, you're like, what was I going to do here? See, I just wanted to check and see if he's got anything. Nope. 
And before I go talk to the farmer, because I like to keep track of this stuff. Let's see if the settlers are up to anything. Nope, that's not what I wanted to know. Great, I'm glad that my ships are there, but that's not what I ask you about. Okay, we got it. 24 minutes we got on that guy. I don't know what that noise was, but it scared me. I think it might have been a ship coming into the loading dock. What was that noise? It's uh, it's pretty loud in the game when those ships uh, come in. You can, I think it's kind of cool you can hear them on the bridge. Hey, buddy. Uh, let me see. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. Grow. I might actually have some of these on me. That happens sometimes. Without actually having to grow it. Uh, do you know what that feels like? I'm going to say I a place from which you all emerged. I'm going to say I don't, because I didn't really catch what you said in the beginning. Such a shame. All should know where they came from, for good or ill. That knowledge drives us. If you don't have a home, what reason do you have to do everything? Anything to say everything I can. I'm going to ask you this question again. There's all I could find there. So strange to learn that my home no longer existed. Do you know what that feels like? Okay, I missed again. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time focusing this morning. Ah, uh, well then, friend, you must tell me of this place. We must find a meal that we both can eat. Oh, come on, don't talk about eating. I was just saying. Perhaps a dish from this home world of yours. Do not worry. The dream of dinner will... <laughs> the dream of dinner will never die. Somebody wrote that. Somebody wrote that, and I love them for writing it. The dream of dinner will never die. Beautiful. Cultivation chamber. Nope, I don't have enough. What am I missing? Silver? Oh, are you kidding me? Because I think I just sold that stuff. I need fecium and silver. If I have the fecium... Wait, I got some over here, right? I think. Does this... Yeah. That grows it. I'm not sure if it grew, grew enough. But I believe I have some someplace. Let's see. Raider, do you have any? No. Uh, Exocraft, I can't get to. Starship? I'm looking for a Fecium. Yeah, I gotta get all that stuff out of there, put it in that other storage unit. Uh, in fact, why don't we do that now? I think I can do that from here, right? Oh, look at that. Look at all the storage space. Oh, this makes a difference. I'm going to need to build more eventually, but that's a lot of storage, storage spaces. What else? What else? Absolutely. I don't think I need to be carrying that around. Uranium. Hmm. Not sure it's good to just be wandering around with uranium on your starship for no reason. Here we go. All right. Uh, I did not see... Let me go check the storage. Oops, sorry, that was a little sickening. Don't see any in here. I'm a little... I really should make sure I put these in a bit more numerically. Well, that's nice. One thing is, apparently, if you just pick the generic option, hit the X and switch it, it will... I don't know which cause. Sort of sequentially put those things in there automatically. Let's see if there's anything in here. No. Well. Let's see. I'm going to just do this the old-fashioned way. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. Oh, I have enough. Great. I only needed 10. So now we need is silver. I don't hold much hope, but sometimes you can find some of these elements for ready sale, but not silver. Let's go. Let's go collect some. <laughs> oh man, I apologize. <laughs> this time of year in this weather just kills my voice. Hold on. Get a little hot liquid on it. That helps. There you are, Starship. Radiant Pillar. I'll take you back out again someday. 
I think <clears throat> I can just put that in storage and get it out of the bay so more ships can come in. I think. I haven't really tried it yet. Well, I was going to say about my other freighter, I never got to it. My other freighter in the other save it has two spires right down the spine of the ship. And when it launches you, if you don't actively correct your trajectory, you will slam right into them. And I thought, no, I think that's a design flaw. I'm just going to call it. It makes it interesting. But not in a way that I enjoy particularly, per se. Alright, I gotta be careful there, because if I hit that anomaly, they're gonna come out and lambast me. They have done it before. Apparently, there's some sort of rule about not shooting the anomaly or the space station. Which makes sense, but is a little jarring the first time you do it and not paying attention, and you can't figure out why your allies are trying to destroy you. Uh, I'm going to take a quick peek in here. Let me see. How much silver do I have? Uh, I need more than that. I'm gonna try and get a hundred. I'm pretty sure a hundred will more than do it. Can't remember exactly how many I need. Uh, gold, I had a feeling. <clears throat> I'll keep you. You'll be good for ship repairs sometime. There we go. You say you want diamonds and a ring of gold. Your story to remain untold. Alright. I'll finish, I'll clean this up and we'll get back in there and make that cultivation chamber. A pretty good play last night. Oh, uh, boy, do I do it? Yeah, I do it. I have enough money. I see a fleet over there. I don't, is that my fleet? Maybe that's my fleet. I don't think so. It's a lot of ships. Looks like it might be a couple of fleets. Let's go. We're gonna go. Oops, I didn't juice it long enough. There we go. Oh, there we go. I don't want to begin docking approach. I don't want to buy the freighter been seeing a lot of youtube videos you know trying to educate myself on the game and other things a lot of things about finding s class freighters which sounds really cool i wouldn't mind that but i got my freighter okay yeah i'll take you i can afford you let's see oh good lots of ships available over here yeah i'll check you out This is probably completely pointless and unnecessary, but I said I want to try and experience everything I can in this game. And I know that I saw the number out there and the no number is knowable, but I don't know it or I have forgotten it. And I want to get all the frigates I can. Um, one thing I do want to check out, I started to say it earlier as I want to do and then forgot to finish my thought but I really hope it doesn't automatically replace frigates you've got without a warning I don't think it would do that I think the number was 19 I think and to be honest oh look at you I'm glad I got enough money you're a nice one uh more okay Let's see if I can afford you hey, everybody look it's a fire sale it's a going out of business bring out your frigates Support? Sure, why not? Alright, that might do it. I don't see any other dollar signs here. So, oh wait, I do see one. We'll check you out and then I really have to go. What do you got here? Alright. 
Mm, I can afford you. You'll probably be the last one. There we go. Um, but uh, I was saying, I really... Well, I already finished that thought. But this thing about... Look at how big the fleet's getting. Finding an S-Class freighter. I think it would be really cool. Let me orient myself. If you're... You know, you've played this game for a while. And you've, you've been doing some grinding and you understand everything about it. It's really cool to get that S-Class. But I gotta tell you, man, I really like the... Uh, look at that. I have run into these ships when they're coming... Nope, I'm getting in my ship. But I'm having a lot of fun taking the time to go from a C-class freighter, building it up. That's just maybe that's just me. Uh, after I've played this game for a while, and I've been through that saga, hello, sir. I just want to stop by and say hello and buy all your tritium, because I know I'm going to need it. And nope, you don't have any uh, gel. Oh, I could have sold him my relics. I think there's another ship over here. We'll check real quick. I thought I saw two of them flying in here. But that's it. I uh, I think uh, building these ships up is part of the fun. At least it is for me. Let me see. Will it tell me? I just want so many ships I got now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine to a page. One, two, three... So that's 27, 29, I got 29 ships. How many can you buy? I'm just gonna keep going until it won't let me do it anymore. That's all right, I've gotta go build some stuff in the back that I was supposed to get to about 15 minutes ago, but I just wanna say hello and uh, check your wares. You have no missions for me, you are useless to me. All right, I, I do believe I have what I need to build one more. Now, do I want to build out that way or towards the back? We'll see. Let's let's check it out here and see. See what looks better. Yeah, we'll build on the other side of this guy and then go back. Ah, darn it. I'm glad they... I just like to keep everything symmetrical. I, am, I really don't think I'm OCD in life. Really? I don't feel like I am. There we go. Wait, what did you do there? I just... There. Now? Will you not do it? There we go. But it, it is lovely, I think, how easy it is to manipulate things after you built it. It's kind of... It's pretty realistic in a game, crafty game. If once you've built something, you can't get all your materials back or move it that easy. But from a game point of view, it can be very frustrating. I don't think a game should literally be as difficult as real life. Because when it gets to that point, you may as well just make your life harder. If that's what you enjoy. Your actual real life. What do I need here? I want to plant something. How do I... What do I... Here we go. Uh, this is what I want to plant. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? What? Pyrite? Oh, wait. I got pyrite grease. I just realized this might be what I need. Couldn't figure out what that pyrite grease was for. I got, I got something somewhere that might... What is this? Uh, no. Unrefined pyrite grease, I think. Let's go over to the old refinery here and see if that's what this might be a good use for. Got exciting days, huh? Oh, I'm, let me just check that out. No, that's not going to do anything. I'm going to go ahead and put you in the storage units while I'm here. Dihydrogen jelly. Where is that pirate? That was in the ship, right? May as well go to where I know it was. Fusion accelerant, unrefined pirate grease. Oh, darn it. I bet there's another thing that I have to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I know I saw pyrite around somewhere. Or maybe I got a... Ref whoops, oops, I got discombobulated. Right, let me take a look here. I'm going to have to go through my, my stores... See if I can, if something turns up. Gold repair kit, blah, blah, blah. Nope, you're not pyrite. You're not pyrite. Platinum, no. Uh, I'm carrying you around for when I get out there. 
Uh, I don't need you. You're going to go in storage. Hopper, I'll carry because that does have some value at times. And I don't have it with me. It's very frustrating. Here we go. Need to sell you off. Hmm. Need to take a look at what you are. I don't know if I can use you or not. You should be in the old crater, not on my person. Cactus flesh, you can go in storage. Cactus flesh, I got a lot. Oh, no. Mm. No, I just realized I was dumb because that's what I'm trying to plant. Sorry, forgive me. So there, I don't have a daily use for you. Salvage data, I'll carry you. Okay. Freighter, do you have any pyrite? I've stored so much stuff. Can't remember. Oh, the superconducting fiber is just for trading. It looks like that's the only use. Let's let's sell some of this stuff off while we're over here. You say you want Diamonds and a ring of gold. Where? Where's some other stuff I can sell? You, Gek Relic. Going wine, I'm keeping. I could probably keep or take with me. Where is this thing? Right here. No. Super connecting fiber. That's too technical. I don't think one of those artifact station really cares. All right. Pyrite. I need pyrite. I'm going to do uh, the semi-lazy method. I'm pretty sure I have seen that for sale. Actually, let me do the thing I always do last. And then end up figuring out that it was a pretty simple solution. Let's look for the description here. Which will, more than likely, if it is in fact in here, tell me what I need to do. There we go. Pyrite. Pyrite is something that I mine. Okay, I got it. Oops. Let me read a little bit about it. Should have done that before I clicked on it. Here we go. How are you, Pyrite? You were here a second ago. Local mineral extract, typically found in large deposits or extra extracted from common minerals after inspection with an analysis of desert, desert environments. That's what I was looking for. All right. Uh, I did pin it, so when I go in here, it should show up. There we go. Right there. Boy, that does make life easier. So much easier. You say... I got that YouTube... YouTube. Not YouTube. YouTube. So I saw an interview with Bono. The other night, it's got yeah, I got YouTube on the brain. God, you too, not YouTube. Uh, I am gonna go down to the planet and try and find it, but I am. It's probably just a mixing of things in my brain. But I really thought I saw pyrite somewhere. Maybe some of the pilots sold it. I don't know. Let's just go down to the planet and find it. Don't be lazy, scooter. Don't get lazy on me. I spent all that money and I did next time I'm, I'm gonna go in sequence I'm gonna use my money to buy more freighters I don't I mean, yeah I don't have enough to go exploring that potential here we go right here <clears throat> uh, once I am maxed out on frigate my next purchase will be to go and spend the exorbitant amount of units at the scrap dealer because I don't think I've done that yet. At least I don't recall it. He gives you some sort of mission or something. And for the... I just want to see if it's anywhere close to the value that they put on it. Because it's a lot of units. Alright, buddy. Here we go. Boy, if I landed right next to some pyrite, wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be a... Uh, 
a good day. What are you? Hold on. There we go. I wanna. I don't think I've been down here. Uh, this should be pinned. Let's make sure that it is. Because if it's pinned, it should make my advisor hunt for it. And my advisor is not hunting for it. I'll just have to, um, whoa, what the heck are those? Those little insect things or something? All right, let me look for the skies, find some pyrite if I can. I hope so. There we go. Not very far either. Wait, is this pyrite? I did. Oh, good Lord. If I would have gone all the way over there and realized that, uh, I was standing next to a big old pile of pyrite. Oh, hold on, hold on. I forgot to look around, see if there's any drones. I don't see any. Uh, I'm going to try my old trick of trying to get underground a little bit. The line of sight in this thing seems to be fairly accurate. If you're down, if you're out of the eye line, one of those annoying sentinels... It seems to offer a measure of protection from detection. I like that, it rhymes. Protection from detection. Yeah, I, I can't imagine this won't be more than enough pyrite. You know, once you get a little bit of the hang of it, a few of the mechanics, things become so much easier. But I'm kind I am... I'm, because I'm a nerd, and I don't know what it is about me that enjoys the grinding. Well, there is there is actually a physical serotonin release of struggling with a problem. Not being able to figure it out. And the longer it takes you to figure out, the greater the serotonin release. It's like figuring out a riddle. Absolutely tangential and apropos to nothing. Well, I guess it applies to this situation. It is, it, it's not completely tangential, but I had a friend. When um, Myst first came out, Myst was the first computer game this generation of type. I mean, it's ancient now, but it was the first PC game I played that had any kind of graphics or anything else. And it, I'll never forget firing up that laptop going, hmm, I wonder what this is. I got it like for two bucks out of a bin sitting next to the cash register of my tiny little uh, computer store I used to go to. And I was there for something totally unrelated, business related. Wanted to get something for my laptop. And I saw it and I'm like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to see what this does. And I had never loaded up CD-ROM, which is what it was at the time. Game like that. Let me see it. Let's get these last little nuggets. I hate to leave anything. There we go. And when that thing fired up and those graphics started... It was the first time I'd ever seen anything like that. I I wouldn't say I passed out, but my brain went a little numb. I'm like, what? What is my computer doing? But anyway, I uh, that was the first missed game ever, and I fell totally in love with it and ended up playing all the iterations of it. Uh, Ribbon was my favorite. I think that's the fourth one, maybe the fifth one. No, I think it's the fourth one, because Ribbon spelled out the number four. But that one, I thought, was just one of the best puzzle problem-solving games I'd ever played. And, uh... I love the fact that they were incredibly difficult to figure out. But after figuring out a couple of them and realizing that... There were some of them I just thought, there's no way. There's no way you can figure this out. The game's broken. They haven't given you enough information. And then realizing, nope, they give you everything you need. You just gotta work for it. And figuring out the final puzzle on the game was one of the most satisfying things I've ever done. Seriously, it took me three, like three months of playing, thinking about it, thinking about it. Even when I didn't realize I was thinking about it, my brain just sussing out like, how, how does this work? What am I supposed to be doing here? But that was part of the story that I was trying to tell is I had a friend. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I remember, uh, and she was, you know, she, she did not fit any definition of a gamer you could possibly come up with. She had no use for it. But she had somebody given her that game. And I remember I was talking to her, I was like, oh man, did you like it? She's like, well, yeah, I was fine. I got the cheat guide and just went through it with that. Like, she had not in any way tried to figure any of it out. She just had a guide to, to tell her what to do next. And I remember I was floored. I was like, okay, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but there's no reason to do it. <laughs> if you're just going to do that, this is what I want, right? Let me double check before I waste a bunch of stuff. I don't have any more. I mean, it's, these things are just dumb little games. I got no moral compunction. People can do whatever they want. It's their game. I just don't understand the rationale for it. To take a puzzle game or a game where you got to figure stuff out and just go and find the answers. It's like, just don't play the game, you know? I mean, I don't understand why somebody would fire it up. And uh, since the whole point is that, what am I doing here? Anyway, I'm done with that tangent. Ah, yes. Long and short it is. That's definitely why I do it. Okay. Uh, I need a hundred. Could plant another one. Probably done quicker, but hopefully this will give me what I need. How much time do we have on this? Fifteen hours. Yeah, that's going to be a minute. Uh, I'll tell you what, Farmer Brown. That is growing. Oh, no. Are you the farmer? Yeah. Uh, sure, we've had this conversation several times now, sir. There we go. All right, that is going to have to grow. What are we going to do next? I'll tell you what. Um, uh, I think Scooter and I need to take a moment for a slight repast because I am hitting that point where my hunger is becoming distracting to me. I should have really had some breakfast, but I woke up, literally rolled out of bed, made some coffee, fired the computer up and got on here. So I'm going to come back probably in a half an hour or so, maybe a little bit more. But I want to try and um, decide. This is going to take a minute. So I guess we will probably jump over to this guy. I have not talked to him since I killed whoever it was I was supposed to kill. So he'll probably have some more stuff for us. Um, I do want to check real quick before I head out because I'd like to maximize my away time, if you will. See if this guy's got anything. No. No. It would probably take a little more processing for these things to uh, add a few more missions there. But I guess they have to... Oh, look at that. I have that my thing set. Or is this for all my plants? That's nice. It tells me my plants are ready to be harvested. Maybe as well harvest them, right? I don't think I need any of them. I like this little button here to take everything. All right. Uh, uh. <gasps> Gravitino ball. I could sell that. All right, I'm going to go down to the settlement. Well, I don't really need to go down there, do I? I can just check over here. What are you guys up to? Oh, I do need to go there and check on something. A visitor has arrived. More time passed than I thought it would. Time is really weird this morning. I can't believe I've been on here for an hour and a half already. Thank you to everybody that joined me. I think some people have gone to do other things on their Saturday, but that's fine. People come and go. But I appreciate everybody that comes. The three likes are very, very welcome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscriptions would be nice, if you want. Subs. It's a slow growth process. I'm willing to grind it out just like I am here in this game. Let me see. Uh, let's save that. I always like to remember to do that. Nothing bad has happened we don't want to save. Uh, let me check this first. I'd like to get an idea where we're at. 45 minutes before that debt is done. 60 citizens, 67% happiness. Look at that. We're really getting up there on the profiteering. Hmm. All right. Settler whatever is a stranger to the settlement. They wish to speak with the overseer. I'm right here, buddy. 
Get your lids up on your glasses. They offer tribute, presenting a present of living pearls. They smile, which is weird. Why would you note that? Uh, okay, let me... I have a feeling this guy is nefarious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me see, exchange gifts, unknown outcome, and you get four living pearls. Seize settler plays gift. I don't know if this guy stole it or not. I could. I'm gonna incur more debt. You know, it's just more interesting and it's just a game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna seize it and I'm gonna do it. I have to rationalize it for myself here. But I'll do it for you viewers, too. The game seems to implying a stranger to this settlement. They wish to speak. They offer tribute. Uh, no, I won't. I like to, you know, my uh, here's what I do. My pattern is if I got a game and I know I'm going to play through it more than once. First time I take the moral high ground. Next time I just go dark. I might just start a whole nother playthrough of, of uh, dark maybe make it a viking or something but for now i'm gonna assume the best of this guy i know I've, I've wrestled with this so much here but what's it say blessed by the tides oh look at that happiness improve okay i can take a little settlement debt but that sounds like a i don't know if there's a right or wrong choice but that really boosted the old yield happiness level which i think ups productivity i'm not sure I wonder if these guys, if you, I'm going to have to experiment with this. Sometime if you get these guys' happiness down to zero, if they will revolt. Or do people just leave? That would make sense. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Or, even better, just watch it. Uh, I do, I don't know where I want to start next time. I kind of like starting here at the settlement. I'm not sure if it's because I put this save beacon in here. But every time I load in, if I put a restore point here at settlement, none of this stuff renders in, which is weird. I mean, it will eventually. When I go to relieve the um, space, that's when it renders in and usually smacks me. Now, we'll leave, we'll leave Scooter here because, uh, yeah, by the time I get back, we're going to have this uh, proposal to deal with over here. All right, guys. Uh, a short pause. Half an hour, 45 minutes maybe, get some sustenance in me. I should have probably planned this out better. Maybe sometime in the future I will, but I doubt it. But uh, it's been good sharing this uh, little short time with you, and uh, Scooter and I will be back really soon. All right, talk to you later.